Hi, good morning. My name is Jim Nolson. I'm a CGTF and USGTF professional golf pro. And I'm excited to unveil to you today the newest model of the Eagle Golf Crew family. This is the IM4 model, the four-wheel version of the single ride golf cruiser. This one's exciting. I get to spend every day on this. It speeds up your play. It uh, takes care of the turf, less than three pounds per square inch. And I just like to show you some of the features on this model today. So let's go one at a time, starting at the front. This vehicle has full suspension. We can hold over 550 pounds. And even holding 550 pounds, we still guarantee that this vehicle will work for at least 36 holes in a golf course. I've done more personally, but that's dependent on how hilly the course is and how heavy the rider is. But we do guarantee 36 holes. The IM4 model is equipped with what's called the Curtis controller. The vehicle is controlled in your right hand by turning the throttle. By turning a little bit, you have control of how fast or slow you'd like to go. Turn it all the way. This vehicle is preset at 15 kilometers an hour. By letting go of the throttle, even if it's done all at once like that, it doesn't come to a complete stop right away. It doesn't skid. It comes to a slow stop over 1.3 meters. It's at that point, once it's stopped, the hill brake engages and this vehicle is locked in one position and will not move. Now we do have the brake as you can see down here. This is for emergencies. Sometimes things rush out in front of you and you need to stop before 1.3. Personally, I haven't had to use this yet, but it's there when you need it. That's a safety feature. The control panel for this unit is placed right in front of you. You can see and access everything that you need to operate the vehicle. There's the key for on and off. It is removable, so when you leave the vehicle behind, you can take the key with you. It has forward and reverse with a simple switch button that you can move with your finger. And the battery indicator is also there so you can keep an eye on how much power you have left. All right, let's talk about the IM4's body. Six layers of fiberglass. This is strong. It's going to handle a lot of abuse and wear and tear. And I'd like to show you now how the controller works. This is our controller for the unit. Very simple. We have options on this controller with a flick of a switch. We can change from a 115 to 220. And obviously we'd, uh, we'd uh, change the cord to match the plug-in for the 220. This is where the unit plugs in for charging. It goes into the wall, plugs into this unit right here. Cannot be done backwards, can't be done upside down. It lines up one way only, very simple to operate. To access the inside components of the IM4, there's a bolt that undoes at the back. One bolt, once it's released, you can lift up the body of our unit once inside the unit, you can access the three batteries. These are 12 volt batteries, making a combination, therefore making 36 volt operating system. The controller unit is sealed and protected as is the motor to protect it from elements, dust, sand, water. We have a switch here for putting the unit in neutral, which helps you for towing, which helps you for pushing it around the yard if necessary. And this body part is held up with a prop rod. Under the seat, you can see we have suspension for it as well, for comfort and strength. But the seat is also adjustable. There's a bolting system here underneath. Depending on which hole you set the bolt in, will tell you whether the seat is high, medium, or low. Remove it completely, the seat folds right down. By folding the seat down, by folding the handlebars down, you can create a much lower vehicle and put it inside your van or in your trailer, and you're good to go. So I'm particularly excited to talk to you about the golf application of the IM4. Being in the golf business myself, I have an opportunity to ride the vehicle almost every day. Let's take a look here at the golf bag holder at the front. This is a single holder, holds the bag in the front up visible where you can see your clubs and make your club selection. But this vehicle also comes with an option of a double bag holder. Two bags gives you opportunities to have caddying, to help someone out who may not be able to walk but you can, to share the vehicle. It's all kinds of uh, upside to that. Also, you can stand on this vehicle. You don't have to sit the whole time. As a golfer, it's good to be mobile and keep your hips and your back moving and flexible. So the option of sitting and standing to ride the vehicle is a great plus in my mind. The scorecard holder is placed right in front of you where it's easily accessible. It's visible. Hold some extra golf balls if you need it and tees and a pencil. It even has a little score counter so you can keep yours and your partner's score. You have a drink holder down between your legs. Back here we have the option of a carrying basket. This is where you can place a cooler, your jacket, other things that you need to carry around while you're out golfing or traveling. 